Welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, Alzheimer's is a condition that affects so many people in our area, and there's an organization here that's doing lots to take care of that and the people who suffer from it. Barbara Auden with Alzheimer's Services of the Capital Area is here, and she'll tell us everything about they have that's coming up right now. How's it going? Pretty good. We're celebrating our 30th anniversary this year. That's fantastic. Happy anniversary to you. Thank you. For, for people who might not be familiar with the wide range of services that you offer not only to patients and families in the community, tell us a little bit about that. We offer mostly education and support programs. So the education programs, once a month we have a lunch and learn program where we talk about one aspect of the disease and educate caregivers and professional caregivers on that aspect and how to care for their loved one. Um, it may be a topic like coordinating all the Medicare benefits or um, behavior problems. It may be medications. So there's a lot of different topics and in, in, we kind of rotate every three years so we cover all the topics so that we don't duplicate and we videotape them all so that if you can't make it you can borrow a videotape. Um, we have support groups throughout all 10 parishes we serve. We have 13 support groups and we are looking at eventually getting a webinar or a chat, a webinar or online support groups so that those caregivers who can't get away can still participate in that. We have a new program this year, a financial literacy program, so it's kind of wading through the challenges of the finances for um, caring for your loved one with Alzheimer's. The disease typically lasts eight to ten years, so it's very long. The expenses are very high, medications are high, and the statistics on the additional costs when someone with Alzheimer's is hospitalized or sick is almost tenfold co the cost of an average person going into the hospital for the same thing. Um, so it, it's really important that we help the caregivers kind of wade through this journey that they're on. Well, in order for you to continue to provide all those great services for everyone, I know you have an exciting event coming up, the one that most people know, Walk One. Remember, tell me a little bit about that. Um, this is the 19th walk this year. It's in October, October 19th out at LSU. We have about 8,000 people who come out and walk with us and support the organization, raise funds, and come out and walk in memory of a loved one. This year, I'll be walking in memory of my mom, who I lost two months ago. Oh, sorry to hear that. Well, I know that, that she'll be proud of you to do that. I mean, tell me a little bit about, you know, th that's obviously a big event, and it's a big mm -hmm. event for you. I mean, I've seen it grow just in the few years that I've attended. Talk to me a little bit about how you've seen it grow in that time. Well, I joined the organization in 2007, but the first walk there were only 75 people at. Wow. So over the 19 years, it has increased um, particularly because so many people have become affected by the disease and we have raised awareness and we do attract people from all 10 parishes. We even have some regular runners who come from Texas to participate and, and run in memory of their loved one. Um, New Orleans, Hammond, those areas all send people out to the walk to remember um, their loved ones. And so it's a great time. We have great entertainment. Storywood Band is out there. This year the Bourgeois family from Ascension are the honorary chairs. 10 of 12 siblings have been diagnosed with Alzheimer's in that wow. family. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. It's so if I'm, a, if I'm someone out in the community, a runner, or just someone that wants to take part, where do I need to do, or where do I need to go you for more information You can register on online at brhope.com or alzbr.com. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for coming to give us a scoop on that. I know it's a very worthwhile event for a worthwhile cause. I'm really glad you could come on and tell us all about it. Thank you so much. Sure thing.